when you're new to the industry, you have to be flexible enough to, to go anywhere and work any claim, and that's the only way that you'll get the experience that you need to really be that great adjuster. You will learn that if you take advantage of our trainings, opportunities come well before that mega cat. And when you say, I, I'm in it for the money, I heard the money was great, you can't make the money if you don't have the right tools. The most common question I get asked is, what are you looking for? What's, what's Crawford looking for? And my answer is, has been the same. It's pretty simple. We're looking for good people. Period. End of story. In this Adjuster TV exclusive special presentation, learn all about Crawford & Company and their annual CatCon Adjuster Conference. You'll hear from attendees and exhibitors about their experience at this incredible event, as well as learn about the Crawford family from the leadership team. And later, find out about major opportunities for work at Crawford & Company, including catastrophe claims, remote desk and virtual work, fast track flood training and NFIP opportunities, work that you can do when it's not in storm season, and why you should get and maintain your Hawaii adjuster license. Finally, learn all about the comprehensive adjuster training available at Crawford & Company. We're starting right now. You're watching Adjuster TV. Adjuster TV was honored to be invited to the 2022 Crawford Catastrophe Conference held in Orlando, Florida in March. We got a chance to talk to the attendees and exhibitors, including Hover and Verisk, the Xactimate guys, and have exclusive conversations with Crawford leaders. Attending conferences like this is an excellent way to earn certifications, get training, and most importantly, network. But don't take my word for it. First up, adjusters just like you talk about their favorite trainings and more importantly, cake. Today is day three of the conference. Are you staying for the whole week? I will actually be leaving tomorrow. Okay, and what's, what's been your favorite class so far? All the flood classes. <laughs> Yes, I'm taking up blood. Okay, very cool. So aside from the classes, what's been your favorite thing about the conference? Meeting people, especially you. <laughs> but that's the favorite is um, networking. You learn a lot um, from different people, experienced people, new people. They tell you a lot of things that get you comfortable. Like I'm scared to get on the roofs, but after talking to a lot of different people, they kind of put that ease, they tell you different ways to get around things. So you get that experience and that knowledge and it helps you along the way. So what's been your favorite class so far? That would be the large loss wildfire. That, that has been the most interesting class so far. Between that and flooding, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that's interesting too. But um, when it comes to the wildfire, just being able to say, hey, Mr. Insured, I'm gonna take care of you, I'm here for you, I'm very empathetic. It's not like, you know, I'm just out there giving out sympathy, but it's more along the lines of, I'm showing them, hey, I'm here to help. And that to me is what I really wanna exemplify when I do go out there into the field. Jim, how's the conference been for you, man? I'm so glad I came. I've got 10 licenses that are in place, but the, the biggest advantage was the people that I've met and the environment, the networking opportunities. And I've learned a lot just sitting around not saying anything, listening to other you know, experienced adjusters talk about claims and things. Um, it was a great decision coming here. You like to eat? I do like to eat. But I try to eat low carb. And the breakfast selection, that's the one like negative comment I would make. There's no eggs, there's, there's no pig. It's, it's just carbs. The lunches have been pretty impressive. We had hot dogs and hamburgers. And, and fried, fried chicken. And fried chicken today. Yeah. I've been impressed with the salad. So the favorite part of the conference really is to meet the, um, the people that's been behind the scene and helping me, like my trainer and uh, my manager. Because uh, when you're in deployment, it's, uh, it's very, you know, you rely on those people to guide you and help you. And sometimes you can feel all lost if you don't have somebody behind the scene that can guide you or when you make a phone call that can, that can answer that phone. To me, when I, the first time I see uh, Lori, who, is, uh, who was, the, she was the director now, but back then she was the trainer, I feel so, it's like I see my mom and dad. <laughs> I just run to her. I just run to her. I give her a thousand hug. Because you know, she they've been there, you know, we've been state to state together. So that was that's my favorite part to be able to see them face to face because of COVID, you have not been able to see them. You have a manager that's going to, but the people behind the scene, the trainer, virtual trainer, that's that's that was the that was the best part for me. So let's talk a little bit about the conference, you know, like aside from like the classes and things yeah. like that. So what's been your favorite part of this? Yeah, man. So I've been to a couple of these, uh, and I was kind of wondering what the energy was going to be like. And this is a great conference. I mean, just 
it, what I tell our, our alumni this year is, man, when you see a Crawford employee, go talk to them because they're they're legit people. They're they're just like us. You know, uh, there is a family environment that Crawford gives to their adjusters. Do you like the food at, the, at this conference? I love the food. I love the food. Um, I love the um, I, I love salad. I like the cake too a lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think yeah. it's a consensus yeah. on the cake for sure. Yeah. So you so you live in the area? Yeah, I live in. I'm like 25 minutes from here. Yeah, but I had to fly. Actually, I have to drive all the way from Washington State to come here because I was deployed in Washington. I didn't even do that. I live in Montana. Oh, Montana is right next to me. Yeah, I flew to Dallas and then picked up bags and a bunch of gear and then drove down here. Have you been to any other conferences? No, this is my first one. I'm gonna tell you right now, this conference has the best food of any conference I've ever been to. It has. I'm not gonna lie, I overindulge. But yeah, the food has been amazing. The people, everyone, everything has been amazing. They make you feel like family. A lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of information. Everybody is very knowledgeable. And they just make you feel at home. So I wouldn't have wanted to start off um, this adjusters with any other firm but Crawford. There were several exhibitors at the conference, including heavy hitters Hover and Verisk, which is the maker of Xactimate. And here they give their reasons for why they attend such a conference. Hey, my name is Mike Oliver. I'm with Hover. I'm one of the senior key account executives with Hover. So what that means is I work with some of the top carriers in the U.S. and IA firms in the U.S., as well as Crawford, uh, which brings us here this week. And um, been with Hover for three years. Hover is a... Um, it's an app at its core that you download on your phone and uh, you're able to use the app to take a few photos around the exterior of a home, which then we use to build out an interactive 3D model of the property and a full uh, diagram and sketches of measurements to the inch across the entire property that you can use to write your estimate. Crawford has been one of our strategic partners going back a couple of years now and we've been working with their teams uh, here in the U.S. and then working to expand globally with them as well. Uh, but we've got a strategic partnership with them where we're used um, not only in the CAT and deployed adjusters, but we're also being used from the Crawford staff adjusters um, as well to help them um, stay off roofs and quickly and efficiently get measurements uh, of, of all their properties that they go out to adjust on and uh, helping to support them and as Nate put it during the keynote, be a uh, force multiplier for them. Hi, Karim McBride, Director of Marketing at American Educational Institute, um, also known as AEI for short. Uh, AEI is a self-service, uh, self-study uh, insurance claims law provider. We've been around since 1969 and we offer claims law training, professional development for adjusters. Uh, we have programs in liability, legal principles, property, fraud, auto, and workers' comp. So this is our first time as a sponsor at the Crawford Conference. Uh, Crawford's doing some great things and wanted to be here to support them. Uh, they're very supportive of our programs for their adjusters. Excited to, to talk to the folks here at Crawford about um, maybe doing some professional development with AEI and, and helping you know increase their claims toolbox. Definitely go to our website, uh, aeiclaimslaw.com, or give us a call. Uh, ask for Corinne, uh, phone number 800-631-8183. My name is Tyler Sawatsky. I'm the National Field Manager for eJuster. And eJuster is a full-service contact firm. Uh, we do on-site field inventory for non-salvageable contents, actually go on site, do the physical inventory of the site, take that information back and provide replacement cost valuation with ACV uh, calculations included in that. We also provide an in-house pricing service for third-party lists and uh, so if you're insured or your adjuster or a contractor provides a non-salvageable list, we can price that list for you. The benefit for us in actually getting some exposure to adjusters themselves, we can talk all day to claims managers and claims directors and everything else, but at the end of the day, it's the adjusters that actually are gonna benefit from our service. Contents are a huge hassle and it takes a long time as an adjuster. You're already worried about the structure, the ALE, you know, uh, different, uh, so many moving parts within that puzzle. The contents can take up an exceptional amount of time in that, and we can take that off your plate and do a better job based on our skill level and resources uh, available at the time. One of the benefits for sure about a conference like this is just the opportunity to meet other people in the industry. Other firms that are willing to assist you in the process of adjusting a claim, not to mention the courses that are available here, especially as a, a first-time adjuster or someone kind of recently moving into the industry, 
getting some baseline knowledge of how to approach a claim and how to uh, address some of the different aspects, particularly of catastrophe adjusting, uh, can be extremely beneficial. You know, if you want to submit a claim to us today, you know, just go to eGester.com. You can submit a claim on our website directly and we'll get it taken care of for you. Hi, I'm Terry Bocchino with uh, Crawford Company. I'm the Director of Corporate Real Estate and Fleet here at the CAC Conference in Orlando, Florida 2022. Here to talk about GoProcurian.com, which is a discount website for adjusters. Procurian came about as a product of our procurement team. We had these wonderful, wonderful contracts that we negotiated with travel companies and office supply companies that we want to share with the rest of uh, the insurance industry, including the adjusters who don't always have access to an employee discount program. They can sign up by going to GoProcurian.com com. They can find two tiers. Well, the paid tier is, is no more than a cup, one cup of coffee a month. It offers access to all of our discounts, including some very very generous discounts from auto manufacturer, travel companies, and the like. And uh, we feel it would pay for itself with just a couple of purchases. So we have quite a few hotels, including a hotel aggregator called Hotelogical.com, which is very similar to a, uh, a travel website aggregator. So a lot of good choices. Three or four rental car companies are included. A couple of, of uh, airport parking. And I just used one for this trip here today. So yeah, very useful. You know, it's it's, it's a it's a product that uh, that we're going to continue to grow, continue to have different categories, a lot more suppliers down the road. So it's definitely something we're we're behind 150 percent. Yeah, they go to goprocurian.com. That's go g o procurian p r o c u r i a n dot com. Hi, my name is Ken Donicky. I'm the account executive at Verisk Analytics. So Verisk Analytics is in the insurance industry. Specifically at this conference, though, we're representing our Exactware suite. So that's exactly made an exact analysis and some of our other software solutions. Exactimate is really our core solution uh, as it, it relates to property estimating. We're longtime partners with Crawford. Uh, we've, we feel that we have a great relationship with them and, and a lot of appreciation for them and, and, and the commitment that they've made to us in, in using our, our software and our data. We've got a lot of Exactware trainings happening this week for Exactimate, for Sketch, for Roofing. So the thing I like about this Crawford conference in particular, this CAT conference, is is just the amount of resources they have available. I think that there's a, just a tremendous amount of breakout sessions as it relates to training on softwares, as it relates to learning more about the industry. We've seen it stopping by our table. We've kind of seen the whole spectrum. We had uh, we had a, a brand new 19-year-old adjuster come by and say, I'm brand new to this industry, help me out. And so we helped him get Xactimate installed on his machine. And then we've had other people come by. I've been in the industry for 30 years. You know, I've seen it all. So I think that there's just a tremendous tremendous spectrum of, of experience levels and, and I think that there's good solutions in all the breakouts uh, all the breakout sessions to really help out and meet all these adjusters needs so one of the one of the main reasons that we're here and and one of the main things that we're evangelizing at our table is our new sketch AR feature that uses lidar so that on a mobile device you can literally take your iPad and just measure the room out boom 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 with your different taps on the screen and it provides a very accurate measurement with a 3D model of that room. Uh, it's a feature that we find to be really popular amongst adjusters and contractors and, and something that we're really hoping uh, spreads throughout the industry to, to be able to help those cycle times and, and help get people in and out of those claim sites a little bit faster. Every IA firm has its own unique culture and Crawford is no different. Here are folks from the leadership team to talk about what sets Crawford apart. I'm Ken Tolson, I'm the president of Network Solutions, which is a segment of our platforms division at Crawford & Company. Uh, it encompasses everything from our contractor connection segment, our WeGo Look segment, but also our catastrophe services operation, which is you know what brings us together today. At Crawford, I really think that's what sets us apart because we're a very diverse company. And I mean diverse from the standpoint of, of capability and services we provide. So it's not just about catastrophe services. Catastrophe services can be one way to enter Crawford & Company. But you're right, I actually started as a property adjuster uh, over 30 years ago at Crawford & Company, a trainee property adjuster. Went through a four-week training class uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, and, and that was how I got my start in this industry, right out of college, essentially. So, uh, But that's what makes us, I think, a really compelling story is, is that the opportunities aren't just in CAT adjusting. Uh, they could pursue uh, an avenue of a property adjuster, a casualty adjuster, a workers' comp adjuster, wherever their interest or curiosity takes them, I think that's a really powerful 
opportunity and, and diversity of capabilities we have that gives them opportunity they might not have at a more singularly focused company. And it's one of the reasons I've been able to move around and do lots of different things and take on lots of different challenges at the company and the really reason I've always I've been here for 30 plus years, I think. My name is Robert Simpson and I am the president of U.S. Catastrophe Services at Crawford & Company and I'm responsible for our carrier practice and I'm based in Allen, Texas. So Crawford & Company has, has been in the industry, the insurance industry, for, for longer than probably anyone. I think 80 plus years years. Uh, we certainly have a history of being in, servicing it, training the industry. We've got a long reputation and really in, within the last couple of years we have really grown and expanded our footprint in the catastrophe unit. The most common question I get asked is what are you looking for? What's, what's Crawford looking for? And my answer is, has been the same. It's pretty simple. We're looking for good people. Period. End of story. Stop it there. You know, if you're good people, I can teach you to be a good adjuster. I can't not necessarily teach you to be a good person. If you don't get a little bit of a thrill out of helping somebody at a time when they're in need, then this may not be the, the job for you, but it may not be, it certainly may not be the company for you. You know, we've got a servant mentality that comes with being an adjuster. You know, we get excited about helping somebody. You know, they're not just a claim, it's an opportunity to make a difference. Hi, my name is Richard Folkman. I'm the Director of Flood Catastrophe Services at Crawford & Company. Uh, Crawford is an 81-year-old company. Um, it's probably the, the birthplace of most of the adjusting firms that are out there. I think they can all follow their roots back to Crawford & Company. Uh, it's kind of exciting to work for a company that's been around that long. We're in 70 countries. We have about 10,000 adjusters and, and uh, personnel that work for Crawford. A uh, very diverse company. Fun place to work. It's uh, the, probably the most enjoyable thing about it is the people. Uh, the people I interact with every day are good people and uh, we've kind of built a culture that way. We can teach anybody to be an adjuster, but we can't teach you to be, have the right attitude or be a good person. And we're feeling more and more of that type of people are coming to work for us, which makes a great environment. To, to work in. I am Jeffrey Conrad. I am the training director for Crawford Catastrophe Services with Crawford & Company. So when I joined Crawford uh, & Company uh, and their CAT team more specifically, I was pretty much tasked with creating uh, a new innovative uh, training department uh, geared toward attracting uh, new talent, new adjusters. And that was something new to Crawford. You know, uh, when I first joined uh, Crawford, um, just the, the first month that I was here, I've never felt more valued in my life. And that was something that, you know, was quite foreign to me. I'm going to create that same atmosphere for, you know, our IAs, our adjusters. Each time that you're on deployment, I want you to feel valued. We, were, we want you to, uh, to feel like your success is our success. I'm Brandon Gentry. I'm the CAT Operations Manager for all of our uh, desk and virtual deployments for uh, one of our biggest clients. The culture is what drove me here and the fact that from the top down it's family uh, helps me have the room uh, to really manage my team in a way that uh, I've always wanted to in the past. Well my name is Robin Short. Uh, I've been with Crawford & Company for a year and a half and I have been just overwhelmed with the reception and the support of Crawford. Their motto, Restore, is absolutely what they live to be. Uh, they respect you. Actually got in trouble about six months ago for not taking a day off. Uh, I've never had a company call me and say, hey, uh, you haven't taken a day off in six months. And I was like, well, sure. And they're like, well, you need to take a day off. You got personal days, take a day off. So they really are, um, they want you to be healthy, uh, not only in your, um, your, your spirit, but in your mind. And uh, they have um, uh, all kinds of programs for you to be a part of a, a physical workout uh, type um, apps uh, to keep you motivated and going. Crawford is a very personal company. Um, we're at the Crawford Conference. And what we see is our president walking around, shaking hands, very approachable, um, wants to know your name, where you're from. Uh, so it's, it's a personal company with that. So huge and big, but yet uh, broken down in these small um, divisions and pieces uh, that we really do work as a team and work together. So, well, I think it's defining purpose. You know, um, that is one thing that I believe that they have, um, they understand who they are and they understand what they're trying to do and their goals that they're trying to accomplish. And I think so many of us come out of an occupation that uh, identity is very foggy. 
Uh, the, even the companies they under, work for, they don't really have a, um, an, a, an outstanding uh, motto statement or a purpose statement, if you will. But uh, Crawford does. You know, they, they really do believe in what they're doing and uh, they extrapolate from you what your purpose is, what do you want to do, and they give you avenues by which to fulfill that purpose. Hi, my name is Laurie Doucette. I work for Crawford & Company. I've been handling their training, their deployments, that type of thing. I am catastrophe. That is something that is one of my specialties. I'm a large law specialist, but I'm also a field deployment specialist and a specialist on being able to teach you what you need to go to be prepared. So if you look on our website, there's a word on there and it says restore. And then it gives you the different ways of how they spell restore. I really do believe in that. That's part of our culture. Everyone that's been brought into and that works for Crawford right now, they're all about restore. We're all about that. Even on the training side of it, on the teaching side of it, it's all about restore. What does restore mean? Restore means what? Putting them back to where they were before this. That's what a policy pays for. It's to put you back where you were. But a policy doesn't talk about emotions, right? Feelings or anything that they've missed or that's happened to them, does it? But Restore does. If you think about that and you keep that concept in your mind, that's the culture at Crawford. We truly are there to restore, to put you back where you were, to help you get there. And that's why we spend so much time, energy, and money on the training and making sure that the people that go out there in the field have that. It's great to say all of these things and for them to do that. And they're like, I can do that. You know, I've got that. I've got this. I can do this. And they get out there and they're just as scared as that insured. They're just as scared as the policyholder they're talking to. Crawford put somebody in the field to help you. Whether that person is standing there beside you or they're on the phone, you can talk to people that have been, that have worked with other companies. They'll come back here because they're gonna get that touch me factor. We're teaching them how to do that with the insured, so why wouldn't we back their, that up and do that for them? I say this all the time to my adjusters. I give them my card. I just hand, I've been handing out cards all day and tell them, you contact me if you have a question. If I don't have the answer, I'll help you find the answer. Everybody at Crawford feels that way. We all write from the same book. We all have the same page out of that book. It's to help the insured put their world back together, and we're gonna help you do that. It's so overwhelming when you first get out there. It's a little bit scary. You know, I said I could do this. I knew I could do this. I took all these classes, and I'm so excited, and then you get out there and you go, I have my first claim, what am I gonna do? Right? So that's one of those things, but we're there for you. We're gonna, we're gonna back you up. There's so much opportunity here, so many companies we represent. So what does Crawford do? We bring the culture with us. We keep the culture behind you and we have your back. We're always gonna be there for you. Whether you're an experienced veteran adjuster or you're brand spanking new, Crawford has opportunities for you. All of my team right now is working virtually from home. No one's in a desk in an office. Um, what that has done is open up opportunities to people who have never been able to get in the industry because not being able to travel, giving them an opportunity to have now have a chance to see what this industry is about. 2020 came with a lot of challenges, right? Pandemic hit, we all kind of didn't know where to go. Uh, but what we did get out of that was the opportunity now to uh, leave the claims offices and go work virtually. So that opened up a lot of opportunity. The people that were scared that, hey, what's gonna happen with claims? I feel like it was, a, it was good for uh, adjusters who like to work and not climb roofs because it gave them an opportunity to get home, to get with their families, to still have an income coming in. And it really opened up um, the opportunities, like I said, to uh, anyone that's ever wanted to get in the industry to give a chance to it now because you're not having to travel, you're not having to be away from your family, those sacrifices aren't there anymore and you're able to uh, do it from your, from your own house now. I think that virtual adjusting is a good pathway into adjusting. What, what virtual adjusting does is it gives us more um, people that we can deploy at one time and it gives you a chance to see more claims than you ever would in the field. I can tell you that the catastrophe unit that we have is it's showing significant growth, significant opportunities. There's never been more interest and, and we have decided and come upon the fact that we need to we need to do things differently. You know, the traditional mindset was we want people to have an experience. We want people to come into it. No one wants to train anyone. We learned early on in the process that somebody's got to train them. Somebody's got to give them an opportunity. And so one of the things that we've done is we've got an initiative where we're going to deploy 30% of our deployments should be with a new adjuster or an entry level adjuster. And we've, we've 
and we understand with that comes more supervision, more management, more oversight, more training, more coaching. But you know, we're committed to that. And what we're finding is there's a tremendous pool out there of interest and quality people who are looking to join the industry. Yeah, we are actively uh, expanding as a result of commitments from our customers, but trying to really grow our our network of roster members, um, you know, dramatically. And we've been really successful over the past two years, really, since we've kind of really doubled down from an investment standpoint. We've grown the organization by about 3,500 adjusters, um, and but but we've really done that through both recruiting and also an investment in training. We expect a lot of feedback from our conference as well because we do hear that from adjusters is, is that especially people that aren't entry level. We have focused a lot on entry level to kind of grow the size of the, the adjuster market itself because it is too small uh, to respond to the biggest events that we have. But for your, your three to five or five to ten year adjusters, you have to always continue to learn and continue to invest in your skills. The other thing that's happened right now is this this massive disruption coming from InsureTech. There's all these new tools like Hover and uh, other three-dimensional modeling tools like that. They need to keep their skills current and then diversify from a product line standpoint too. Now, in a world where the whole industry tries to specialize as much as possible, if you're really going to be a journeyman in this space and be as deployable as possible, you really need to have a diversified skill set and at least be familiar with the fundamentals of handling a bodily injury claim, a property damage claim. Um, or maybe inside property homeowners or inside property commercial or even seeing commercial desk units being created today because the tools are just getting better to be able to remotely adjust things. There's opportunity for floods either with heavy rainstorms or hurricanes. Predominantly what we see the most damage on, on a consistent basis is rainstorms. Hurricanes like Harvey and Sandy and Ida come around very, you know, infrequently five years, something like that between them, but I've seen thousand year rainstorms that we've gone out Baton Rouge. It flooded way upstream from it and it came in and decimated that town. So those are the opportunities. With flood, it's the same thing with property. Most adjusters go and get their license and what they're waiting for is a big event. That's when they get their opportunity to get out and be seen, prove what they're, that they're good and they're worthy, get on board with the company and stick around for a long time and establish themselves with the company. Flood's no different. We're gonna have that core group of adjusters that we work with on a regular basis that we're gonna go to first. But there are opportunities for people that live in outlying states that maybe we don't have an adjuster in that they can get in that way. But really it comes down to when there's a big event, we need flood adjusters, you get your chance to shine and that's when you can stand out from everybody else and latch on to a company long term. So what can you do to be fully prepared to not only get on Crawford's Ready roster, but be successful on your own field deployments? Let's find out. Hint, preparation is everything. You have to be prepared. There's a lot to being prepared. Get yourself in the right mindset. That's a big part of it. Take all the tools. Tools are here. Tools are what you carry in the bag. Tools are what you have in your truck. Just make sure you're ready to go. And you're ready to work 12 hours a day, six or seven days a week. Some days you're gonna work longer. You're gonna have long days. You're gonna be exhausted. So set time aside for that family you left behind. I cannot stress that enough. You know, I've missed birthday parties and Christmases. I've missed, um, not in the beginning, but I miss child, children being born. Sure. You know, I miss parents getting sick and, and wanting to be there and, and pat, those type of things. If you think about it, that's one of the things that's why we do this. You know, if you ask me, why did I choose to do this? Well, why did I choose to do this? I've had claims in my life, I've had events, but during a hurricane, I lost a parent. So all of those tools we're talking about, one of the tools you better take with you is empathy. I can't teach you empathy. I can't teach you to be a nice person. I can't teach you to listen. I can't teach you to be a painter, to paint the picture. But you better understand that everything I've just mentioned is everything you need to do this job and do it well. And when you say, I, I'm in it for the money, I heard the money was great. You can't make the money if you don't have the right tools. My name is Buddy Sheets. I'm the director of CAT operations for Crawford Catastrophe Services. My primary responsibility is the Gulf Coast states and Hawaii. It's a great company to work for. We want to train you. We want to make sure that you understand your job so that we can deploy you. The most important part of your year should be the first quarter. 
January, February, March. This is the time of year when you're going to want to make sure that your licenses are squared away. Make sure that if any of your certifications have expired that you go back in and take care of those. You're going to want to make sure that you go through all of your equipment. Make sure that all of that is in good working order. Um, if you wear cougar paws, make sure you take the pads off your cougar paws, put new ones on because even if you haven't climbed a lot of roofs in those pads, they start to deteriorate. And that's the last thing you want to find out when you climb your first house. Make sure that all that's done in the first quarter of the year before storm season. Make sure that your continuing education is done. That way you're not trying to do continuing education in the middle of, of working storms. I can't stress preparation enough when it comes to an adjuster because the preparation that you do early in the year is gonna, is gonna dictate how successful your season is. Um, and you wanna minimize that stress on yourself by getting it done. Personally, when I was in the field, I had a go box that sat in my garage and it had reams of paper, pens, pencils, highlighters, clipboards, everything that I needed, that I knew I needed to go work a storm was in that box. And I had a paper inventory in the box. I would pull the inventory out, go through it. If anything was missing from my box, I'd replace it, um, create a new inventory sheet so that, I, when I, so that when I put that back in there, I know that my box is full and ready to go. I would tell all, all of our CAT adjusters, once you get all your preparation done, just be ready to go when called. You know, a lot of times the clients put pretty strict timelines on us where they'll say we need 20 adjusters and we need them on site in 48 hours. So if I call you and you say, well, I can leave next Wednesday because I got to go to the dentist and you know, you might miss the deployment. Get your doctor's appointments, your dentist appointments done, get your dog to the vet, get all this stuff done again early in the year so that when storm season comes, your personal matters are taken care of and you'll be able to travel that much easier. I always tell my students when I'm in a class, I said, you're gonna battle your way for your first eight claims. It's gonna, it's gonna be rough, but you gotta stick with it because you will learn that some, there's something about that ninth claim where it's like, you know what, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Each claim is different, so that keeps it interesting, but the process is still the same. And that's when you realize, you know what, I can do this. Just don't give up until you close at least eight claims. And I've had some students come in and like, well, it took me 12 claims. I'm like, well, at least you got there, right? Um, but you just gotta stick with it and, and don't give up because it not, it's not easy. If it was easy, then anybody could do it. But this is where your, your preparation, uh, your, your training comes in is that, you know what, you, you've got a pretty solid foundation to build upon whenever you get deployed. And, you know, we can't teach you everything, but those, those lessons are learned whenever you get deployed. Um, but uh, you'll make it. So. My name is Judy Garza. I'm the CAT Director of Resource Management for uh, Catastrophe Services. And being in recruiting and resourcing, I get the opportunity to meet the people when they're new and they're asking a lot of questions about well, what, it, what do you do when you, once you get on the, the roster, when do you get called? And uh, what happens then? What tools do I need? And um, should I be ready now? And so it's, uh, it's exciting to be that person, that conduit to a new uh, career. I would say be prepared, you know, have your stuff ready to go, make sure you have all the tools. We do a new hire orientation for all of our new adjusters. It's something new that we started um, where we um, tell them everything they need to do. We tell them what to expect, you know, what is the timeline. Once I get on the roster, how long is it before somebody will call me? What is it we're looking for when we're um, filling a deployment? And then we bring on some seasoned adjusters to tell them what a day in the life of an adjuster on the desk looks like. What does it look like for an outside adjuster? What's the difference? Why do we care? You know, what do we need to know? I just tell them to be ready and tell them to wait for the call and make sure all your stuff is updated in Renovo. Make sure your licenses are in there. Make sure you have that um, I want to work. It's a little hand that's raised that says I'm ready because we pull from that roster first. Listen, it's a fact that you need to be a little bit of a self-starter to be successful as a claims adjuster, but that doesn't mean that Crawford is going to throw you to the wolves. They have many resources for getting you trained and ready to deploy and for supporting you when you're in the field. Uh, I came across a, uh, a Facebook post the other day and uh, it was someone says, hey, I'm on the, the top four rosters. And one of these firms told me that I have to wait till a mega cat in order to get my, my opportunity. And I got PTSD, you know, it was like, that is the worst time 
for any newbie to enter this industry because I've seen it happen way too many times. That is not the time. That, that, your time right now, if you're sitting on a roster, is to invest in yourself, get the training, because that's gonna create opportunities. Yeah, in a mega cat, everybody's looking for bodies to, to throw at a problem, but they're, they're hurting you when they do that. So don't wait for a mega cat to enter this industry. Prepare for that mega cat. Get the trainings, invest in those schools, invest in our training, and be ready when that mega cat happens. And that's how you break through. But if you, you will learn that if you take advantage of our trainings, opportunities come well before that mega cat. So FAST is Flood Adjuster Specialized Training, and that class is designed to train adjusters to be successful from the get-go. When I got into the business, I basically came out, I was looking to run claims for the first time, there were property claims, and the event turned out to be more of a water event. And we were told, you have an opportunity to run flood claims if you want at that time. So I went through a six hour class, and I was handed 35 claims and suddenly I was a flood adjuster. And the feeling of not knowing what you're doing and you have people's lives in your hand and you're trying to take care of them, it's, it's not something I want anybody to have to go through and it's not good for the policyholder. So the idea behind flood adjuster specialized training or FAST is we're gonna focus and we'll expand this over time, but more and more about how to do a flood claim effectively. And we're gonna try and make it so you can do more of them quicker, but efficiently is I guess what, what I'm trying to say. And, uh, and I think we're gonna be very successful at it. We've been running those classes. We run two day classes online. Uh, we're doing about every month we're offering those classes, but you do have to have an FCN to do that. Most important thing, go get go get your Hawaii license and have it. Um, we have daily opportunities in Hawaii to, to provide assistance. We even have desk opportunities from the states to help the people in Hawaii. We're gonna provide extensive training pre-deployment because what I found was that the building techniques in Hawaii are completely different from the US. Um, they have single wall construction houses down there, meaning there's four corner posts and basically plywood on the outside. So if you put a nail in your wall, it just goes outside. With Crawford & Company, the, the, there are opportunities for all product lines, and both field and desk. You know, we, we run a, a very large operation in Allen, Texas that's, that's dedicated to a virtual desk environment. Uh, and so I think that for a new adjuster, you know, I would, ne I, would, I would never say don't take a field deployment, but I have found that if you are open to doing a desk deployment, first you get the benefit of being next to somebody you're in an office full of other adjusters you know the water cooler talk and the, that that opportunity to meet and do team meetings early on it doesn't take long when someone's in that environment they pick up very quickly and then they start to gain more confidence and the more confidence they get the more more complex losses they can have and then a lot of them are ready to graduate to a field deployment the most important thing that you can do at Crawford is make sure that in Renovo that your profile is updated and that you have your hand raised that you want to work because the first thing we're going to do is go into Renovo and pull a report out saying you know all the people that are saying I want to work. At Crawford we will have an induction center where we will have all the adjusters come to a specific location make sure that everybody's ready to go as far as their computer gear equipment everything. Once the claims start coming in our cap managers will assign the claims out to the adjusters you'll see what area you're in and then you can move into that area and start working your claims. Now one thing that we're going to do at Crawford is we're going to provide adequate management and adequate quality you know, assurance personnel so that we make sure that we're providing the adjuster all the support they're gonna need. We're not gonna throw you in the field and just leave you out there by yourself to, to count on your buddies to help you with the claims. We're gonna have a help room in the, you know, somewhere close to the lost location so that you can, you can come in the evenings, get assistance from our training staff, get assistance from your manager, and, and help you through the first, you know, initial weeks of that deployment until you start feeling comfortable to work on your own. If you want to work, then you need to make yourself as flexible as possible. And you, you need to raise your hand and say, I'll, I'll take an outside, I'll take an inside, and then find your niche. Then once you've gotten some experience and you're, you know that this is, you're good at this and um, you can do this on your own at home, um, then you can be more specific and say, I'm just gonna stay in this state, I only wanna do a desk job, I only wanna work for this client. 
but when you're new to the industry, you have to be flexible enough to, to go anywhere and work any claim, and that's the only way that you'll get the experience that you need to really be that great adjuster that doesn't have a hard time, that can mentor others, and it also helps you move up in the organization, maybe get a manager role, um, being able to, to be good at what you do and pass that on to others. That's, that's important because we work in teams. You know, there's no I in team, they say. So um, if your team doesn't do well, then you're not doing well. So being able to pass on that knowledge to others is very important in our industry. So how can you get involved with Crawford & Company? It's simple. Just head on over to croco.com slash cat and hit that red apply now button. As always, thank you so much for watching Adjuster TV and have a great storm. This is Adjuster TV.